Hey, thank you for tuning into my channel. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs and vlogs and today I'm going to be taking you guys through my studio. One of the things that I really focus on is I want to minimize as many obstructions to doing work as possible. So I'll have my paints nearby. I'll also have my different sketchbooks nearby. So starting with this corner over here, I have one of my acrylic paintings that I did a few years ago. And this is what actually got me back into the flow of doing art. This is where I do most of my painting. This is where I take a lot of my Instagram photos. Of course, a cup for my favorite drink. This was actually a gift but it's so thoughtful because it has my art on it I absolutely love it I'm not living in the biggest of places so I really look for storage optimization solutions so I do have ottomans and things like that but in terms of in my art studio this was a great find from Amazon basically it just means that I can store everything in a nicer and neater and calmer way so I just like to have everything nearby and ready so that I can create art and not waste energy on in looking for where I've buried that random sketchbook that I want to use at that moment. So this came in very handy. On here I have my 100% cotton watercolour paper that I got from my cuss out haul. So if you haven't checked out that haul yet I'll link it and you should definitely check it out. I have my Arches watercolour paper as well as my Windsor & Newton watercolour paper then i have this this is essentially the first and only sketchbook that i have completed outside school so i just keep it on my desk as a reminder that i can actually complete a sketchbook and just as a motivator really then i have two journals over here so these were part of my 500 pound haul so one of them is the legendary planner and this is just to help me set goals and actually stick to them and then the other one is the budget planner which those of you who've watched my haul videos that i have pretty much added up to almost a thousand pounds well no I desperately need I also have this notebook I keep it here so that as soon as I have an idea I just write it down brainstorm it and keep it nearby and then here I have the caddy paper this is another one of my sketchbooks and I've done a review on it already so you can check out that video then we go to this books that I've got from the library perfume my digital camera post-it notes I use them when making notes for my Instagram and then I also also have Pantone postcards that I'll be using for a Pantone challenge very soon. Over here I have the Sennelier watercolour paints who were part of my whole video and then Windsor & Newton gouache and at the back another candle case that I just use to store watercolour brushes and fine liners. So there's my camera in the back, this is my stamp for my Etsy orders. I have my paint brushes that are kind of too big to fit into this storage space here. So these are just some affordable paint brushes that I got from the works that I use for gouache painting and my set of portable watercolour brushes. I also have this box. Inside this box I have my old paintings and some art prints that I've done as well. Well this is one of my favourite paintings. So this is the original and this is the print. Gosh it's still one of my favourite paintings. So this is just a nice space for me to keep my paintings at the moment while I try and find a bit of a better solution. I have my handy iPad and these are my sketchbooks that I have here and I tend to keep them on my desk almost at all times if I'm not carrying them with me. Then this is like my little box of knickknacks. It's, it's quite messy but this has my hard drive for my YouTube videos, masking tape for my paintings, memory cards, bits of scrap paper that I use to make notes on, like stickers for my Etsy shop, ribbons and other things that I may need a bag hook. I have one that I keep here so that I can hang my bag and then one that I carry with me at all times so that I have something to hang my bag when I'm going around. Probably notice that I have two arms. This is actually an iPad holder. This is just a standard phone holder. So I use these to record my YouTube videos a lot of the time. I just leave them mounted so that they're ready to go whenever I need them. So over here I keep some more sketchbooks. And then here is just my makeup case. So over on this side of my studio, I have this holder from Wilco's. In this drawer, I have the majority of my paint supplies. So this is my gouache, my watercolors, my acrylics. You'll notice here the Japanese watercolor set and I've done a review on that on my channel. So if you haven't seen that already, I'll link that for you. 
but then I also have like these which are pretty fun so metallic watercolor paints normal watercolors watercolor tubes got this um clear pencil case for 50p just so that i could carry around more supplies when i'm painting and not worry about them damaging my bag some watercolor pencils professional watercolor paint so yeah essentially all my supplies are in there let me know if that is a separate video that you would want to see like all the art supplies that i have but for now just focusing on my studio my paints are in this one then in this one is pretty much more sketchbooks one of my main sketchbooks those of you who are on my instagram will already recognize some pieces so for example this piece is on my instagram and this piece is also on my instagram so the majority of my paintings and my drawings are from this sketchbook and this third draw is a little bit less exciting it's just a miscellaneous draw with some palette paper also has my embossing supplies glue dots so just random things that i think are useful for me but i don't necessarily use every day i keep in here and then here here's a bit of a mixed bag this is a tube that i use to carry my paint brushes when i'm traveling sometimes watercolor or a paint tin wax seal stamps then i have a few frames a few canvases my uni pins which are my go-to fine liners it's pretty much another mixed bag or miscellaneous drawer then over here is my bookshelf which features in quite a lot of my youtube videos right at the top i have this lovely gift set and then i have this which was another gift which is adorable and it's essentially little sailor moon figurines that my sister got for me from hong kong up here i have my notebooks one of my bibles a fake plant that i like to keep there for some greenery and this old candle box that i use to store some pens that are still working and thus i don't want to throw away you'll very quickly realize that i love boxes so i've kept these gift boxes and i've used this to store my art stuff like a 100 ml bottle and this one to store things like ribbons and other gift bits 365 day journal with blank pages inside i thought it would be a nice book to use to do a certain 365 day challenge I'm not sure which yet if you have any suggestions then please let me know down below brush pens that I've kept in a repurposed cocoa butter tub my oil from divine roots I'm a junior doctor so in keeping with that I have a lot of books most of them are not on show but there's this set the Oxford handbooks which are not only helpful but also very colorful so I keep them here some cups that I got from Marrakesh and a gentleman's hip flask that was gifted to me. And then over here, another fake plant, and all these are my supplies for acrylic pouring. Again, sometimes you just have to use what you have. So these are actually done on the back of cereal boxes, and the other ones were done on the back of canvas boards. So really, you can use anything you have to create art. Over on this side, I have my printer, and let me know if you want to know about this, but essentially I was doing some of my prints from home and then i realized that actually this printer was not the greatest one to do art prints and then my ipad which i've shown you guys already the guillotine that i used to cut certain art pieces and to cut my watercolor paper so underneath here is another set that i got from wilco and here i keep more electronics over here i have a mixed bag of papers and then underneath is just more stuff for my etsy store the bookmarks that i give out for free with each order and then i also store my card stocks from my etsy on here so that's pretty much a quick run through so i don't have the biggest art studio in the world but it's definitely fit for purpose i hope that you found that video helpful and useful and as always entertaining let me know if you have your own tips tricks or storage hacks which you'd recommend for myself or for others there's this theory that i can't quite remember but it's essentially about the path of least resistance and i find that especially when i'm tired or when i've had a long day at work those are the days that i don't really want to paint and don't really want to create but probably the days where i should do it most so what i do in order to help with that is, is try to keep my creative space neat but also ready for me to create so that there isn't much resistance for me to do so so that when i sit down it is really as easy as just picking up the paintbrush and seeing what happens <laughs>